Welcome back. We are here with our adopt a pet segment. We have Rochelle Sexton from Greater Huntsville Humane Society. Who have you brought today? We have Molly, aka Polly, yeah. with us today. All right, and so tell us a little bit more about her. So Molly actually came to us initially in 2022 with a really bad case of mange, oh. and we had a very dedicated volunteer that took her in to foster her and eventually adopted her. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that dedicated volunteer passed away earlier this year, oh. so she is back in our care, awaiting her forever home. Oh, look at her, she's so sweet. Now, I have worked with her a little bit over at GHHS, and you, when you look at that sweet face, at first you might think, she's an older dog, but she's not old. She's not, she's about two, two and a half, that yeah. we can estimate it's that old soul that she has uh, she is so playful too like taking her out in the field she loves to play fetch too absolutely toys are her life and talk a little bit about what she's going through because she does have something that people should know about yeah so she was originally um, brought in with mange and because of how bad her condition was about a year and a half ago through her foster home and then eventually her forever home until she came back to us there has just been a world of allergies. Mm -hmm. uh, this poor girl is allergic to most everything, Aww. and so she does need to stay in the shade most of the time. But if you like to hike, especially up on the mountains in the woods, that is your girl. She's being so <laughs> sweet. Yeah, I mean, look how like her tongue's hanging out. She's just <laughs> chill. I mean, she's just ready to find a family. So she is. we really appreciate you bringing her up today. And for uh, us. yeah, Polly Molly. <laughs> Great with kids, I'm assuming. And, yeah, we. she's great with other dogs. She lived with another dog. She knows how to use a doggy door. Oh, and good. she loves car rides. And Aww. we think she'll be great with anyone of any Aww. age. Great, well that's so great. Thank you for bringing her up Thank today. You. We also have some other success stories we uh, wanna talk about. Yay. And I'm really excited about this one. If we have those pictures, this is Chanel. So Chanel was one of the first ones I met when I came up in January. And then there's AJ, both of them have found forever homes Yay, I'm yes. so excited so that's the sh that's the picture of Chanel um, she's a sweet girl she's been in foster for a few months and so yeah. they decided to adopt her is what I've heard which yes. is great and then AJ there with the flamingo we featured AJ a couple of weeks ago yeah, on our, our segment so he was yeah. our first one so we're so happy that they were both uh, able again to find homes and we'll have plenty more success stories we can't wait yes. to share as we head into uh, next week awesome so, Rochelle again thank you so much and I think just this experience exposure helps get some of these dogs Absolutely. adopted and so again we're very happy. Something else we want to uh, talk about is uh, Rocky. We're introducing you to him as well. He is a three-year-old American Bulldog mix. He came to Alabama with his family, but they unfortunately couldn't take care of him anymore. And he does have some food allergies and is looking for a loving home. So if you're looking for a sweet new furry friend, Rocky might be for you. And you can visit him at Decatur Animal Services or give them a call. So a lot of sweet dogs yes. up for adoption. Do you have any events coming up you'd like to share? Yeah, we have Back to the Felines at the Orion actually okay. coming up. That is gonna be benefiting our cat sanctuary. Right. And it will be July 21st and look at our socials and the Orion socials this weekend. There is going to be a deal happening. Oh, great. Yes. Well, make sure you check out their website or our website for more. We'll be back after this. 